Hi, good morning. I'm Samir and I live in Singapore. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a digital product that you use on your smartphone on most days. You use this product no matter where you are, what time of the day it is, or really where you come from. So let me ask you a couple of questions. What do you do when you're lost and unable to find a place? Or what do you do when you want to see the menu or reviews of that popular restaurant you've been meaning to go to for a while? If I asked this same question to your parents over 20 years ago, they'd probably pull out a paper map booklet from their nearest petrol or gas station, or put a local restaurant guide out and find the restaurant. But fast forward to 2021, you have access to all of this information on your smartphone. Now I know you're probably thinking, hey Samir, we already know this. We use maps on our phones and tablets. So what's this really about? But the thing is, have you ever thought about how maps are made or how, as a user, you get access to such rich information? What if I told you that there's something happening in the mapping space, a fundamental shift of sorts, all thanks largely to the gig economy and the informal sector? These are the drivers who are out chauffeuring you around, delivering your food, getting your groceries, or running your errands. These hardworking, industrious men and women are changing the way map data is being collected. And I can assure you, it's going to make your maps even better. Now imagine you're a passenger and you took a ride to that restaurant you had no clue was shut and you had the power to fix it so that it never happened to anyone ever again. Now imagine you're on the road driving and you see that there's a new paved road that doesn't exist on your map yet and you have the power to add that in for other users. Now imagine you're a food delivery rider and you have some free time waiting at a restaurant while the food's being prepped. And you get a notification that says, earn a little extra today by telling other users how crowded the restaurant is. Does it have safe distancing measures in place? Now imagine if you're a merchant and the delivery rider can't find your restaurant and you had the power to give them directions to that restaurant. These scenarios I outlined are real problems that gig workers face on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the biggest issues is that these gig workers use global maps. But we live in Southeast Asia, which is a unique region, an archipelago of diverse countries. Thailand is different from Indonesia, is different from Malaysia. Weather plays a huge role in the day-to-day -day operations of these gig workers. A large majority of food delivery riders on the road are either two-wheel or three-wheel bike drivers. Think bikes, motorcycles, tuk-tuks. To make things even more challenging, Southeast Asia is home to some of the world's worst traffic congestions and has one of the most chronic road safety standards. This is why global maps are probably too cookie cutter. Making maps is a complex, intensive project that requires both humans and machines to collect vast amounts of data and imagery from the real world and put it in one big giant database. Traditionally, the most mapping companies have done something like this. A giant car, cutting edge hardware, 
which is really, really expensive, operated on vehicles that are really, really expensive, and they try and do as little passes around the city to develop the imagery that's needed. To cut a long story short, the model's expensive, time-consuming, hard to maintain, and not designed for Southeast Asia. What's happening now is that gig workers are changing the way the real-world data is collected. What that means is this model is moving to this model. Two wheels, you don't need a fancy hardware, just an action camera that scales to a fleet of a million drivers. This enables gig workers to map city at scale, make it additional income, and do this passively while they're going around and doing their regular work. Map contributions by gig mappers can be done whilst they're delivering your food, dropping you off, all making your everyday map experience better, making maps faster, fresher, cheaper, and closer to the real world. This mapping model is a win-win for everyone, for the riders and drivers whom additional income means they can send their kid to a better school, for merchants who is able to sell more food, hot and fresh, to his or her customers, or for the map user who sees the freshest and most accurate map data. And then lastly, for the community who's empowered to make these map changes that improves their experiences. So I'd like to end and say, finally, something conceived, designed, and built by Southeast Asia for Southeast Asia. One world, one people. Thank you.